Hi, it's Derek Watson, the Angry Dentist, and I am sitting in the reception of my practice. I did promise I would give you a quick tour around, so uh, why not let's have a look. It's, uh, it's industrial, I'll warn you, but uh, there's a reason for that, and uh, what I'm going to do in this video is just show you what is here. There's a few things we have changed already immediately, and um, but quite a lot that we're still going to change and so this video is really going to be about uh, what I bought rather than um, the next video will probably be about what uh, I'm going to do with it. So let's uh, go on a tour. So um, this is the entry door here and uh, as I say it's an unusual um, it's an unusual practice in that uh, it's in a innovation centre so it's a Sunday and there's nobody here so I'll show you what the entrance looks like this is uh, where the patients come in it's got um, oh look CCTV and cameras and automatic lighting and uh, a reception desk and this is the front door <clears throat> and what you can see across the road there is uh, the school when the uh, school was built, the uh, money was assigned for um, an innovation centre to accompany the school. And so that's where we are at the moment. So, it's, um, it's, we're not in a high street. What we have got, there's uh, uh, is communal um, toilet facilities and uh, emergency defibrillator that's uh, maintained by someone else. So. Um, what the, the point of showing you that is really uh, just to let you know that uh, a lot of what we are expected to do really by the Care Quality Commission is managed externally in this premises. So uh, we don't have to buy a defibrillator and we don't have to maintain a defibrillator. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, patients do, um, some sign in and some don't, uh, but uh, they all come through here now there's a dental there's a dental lab here I don't know if you can see any clues as to where the dental lab might be located let's follow these plastery footsteps and uh, that's uh, in unit G4 is uh, where the guys who do the dentures and the crowns are and then we are in the um, in these two units at the back G5 and G6 so a lot of other things are maintained by the uh, building um, uh, fire drills um, a lot of um, health and safety compliance and uh, oh there's one other thing I'll show you while we're out here and that is the training facilities because you would expect uh, to have quite good training facilities wouldn't you on a there we are so we've got a boardroom which is, I'll just turn the light on so you can see. There we are. So, so we can have some sort of quite decent training meetings in here and the whiteboard is obviously provided as part of the facilities. There's, a, there's an overhead projector there provided as part of the facilities. There's, uh, there's our white screen. There's the uh, facility to uh, link your laptop up to the overhead projector. So it's very well specified in terms of training. And the building there's a lift there for anyone who needs to go upstairs the, the actual building itself is really big and just to give you an idea I'll show you the other training rooms that's that's sort of that's what they call the boardroom uh, and this is what they call the meeting room so I'll just show you in the window there there we are so we've got a little um, Sort of a bit of a smaller one there, but again, it doesn't have an overhead projector, but it has a TV screen and uh, whiteboard and everything. So that's a alternative. Uh, there we are. That's the pop up that will tell you where we are. Um, and uh, I mean, we don't really up, up up the top here. There's um just on the first floor there. There's a tea and coffee uh, area for everybody, like a communal area. And the building itself is extremely large. So what have we got? Well, here we are. Now, um, knock and wait for assistance. That's because, uh, for privacy and confidentiality, 
um, we don't want too many people inside other than the, the ones who are having treatment so um, we've got a small waiting area outside here which we pay for you'll notice that there's a uh, two newspapers there times in the guardian well then perhaps i'll do a separate video to cover um what we put on for the patients because um this is um there's sort of a small internal waiting area and and by that you can see there's um tin uh, coffee rather brewed, brewed uh, freshly brewed filter coffee and um, some apples and um, a sort of a area for notices which um, we're, is one of the things we're going to redevelop um, and let me take you through to the surgeries so we've got two industrial units this is one of them so this is surgery one and then on the other side we've got a mirror image surgery two so um, this is the um, surgery that I work in now again you'll notice certificates on the wall that's very good from a tangibility point of view um, and all the instruments are served up through these units at the back and uh, there's um, so we've got a sort of a sterilization area behind the uh, the surgery so just to show you this surgery again pretty well mirror image the idea being that um, we can move from one surgery to another in other words any procedure can be done in any surgery so we have uh, most of the instruments uh, and everything are in the drawers but um, we're going to move over to a tray system because that's an American idea which is uh, perhaps something else I'll do a video on um, whereby we have a tray for every procedure and the trays just get wheeled around from surgery to surgery so that will then make obviously everything uh, very um, um, how can I put it flexible? You know, you can do any procedure in any in any surgery because we have there is another surgery around the corner. So in the ten years that uh, I have been in sort of part time practice, quite a lot has changed. Um, I mean, most of it hasn't changed, but uh, quite a lot of it has. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously all this, um, um, you know, uh, hand hands free water, hands free towels, and stuff like that. I don't know. How much of a difference that's made to infection rates? Not, probably none at all. And yes, I know the sinks have got plug holes. We're working on that. So, um, so that's sort of one the one surgical unit. And then what we're doing now, we're going through the the wall, the boundary between the one surgery on the or the the, the unit on the unit six and unit five. So this is unit five. And because we're attached to a school, the school uh, very kindly. Um, decorated our x-ray cubicle <laughs> with a sort of an under the sea uh, scheme sorry about the um, lens is not really very wide angle to do much close internal stuff but um, we have um, in here we have an OPG and in here we have um, x-ray facilities so it's not uh, uh, unfortunately it's not um, possible to do have uh, surgeries in every, you know, x-rays in every surgery, which is what I was used to. Um, that's just um, one of those things. We can't uh, insulate the um, surgeries well enough to have uh, each one have an x-ray. So we've got some storage. We've got the office, which you've um, seen before, I'm sure. And uh, sort of quite a, I'll give you a quick peek at the IT setup. Um, that's the main computer, a main server, subsidiary um, terminal, which I'm working on at the moment. Uh, by working on I mean trying to fix and uh, a nice little um, off-site uh, drive bays there which we can use to back up the data and take it off-site uh, and then this is the third, the third surgery which they call the annex and uh, it's um, a different specification but still perfectly uh, adequate and, and works okay and um, this is the one that um, is the overflow surgery and then at the back here, we've got the, the sort of the hardware, the compressors, a bit of storage, plaster and stuff like that, the compressors and a uh, small workbench, which we can use for making um, suck down uh, whitening trays and things like that. And then a, a small sort of staff fridge, staff area, staff changing area. And uh, let me just uh, do this without falling over and some um, 
uh, sinks and rotors and things like that, staff notice board. Again, we're going to bring the notice boards through from the front to the back. Um, so, um, uh, as I say, I'll make another video on what, how, what we propose to change about the practice. But at the moment it's functional. I will show you one thing which is, um, you know, which really sold the place to me when I was looking around, and that's this. If I can just back out of this door without getting, uh, locking myself out. And that is this. And that's got to be one of the biggest car parks that you've ever seen for a dental practice. And that uh, that fits in with the um, the Silka approach, which is what uh, I was um, referring to when I said about the American system before. Um, this is the building. It's not exactly uh, inconspicuous. And that's uh, this is the bit we didn't even look round. There's another sort of annex for the back there. So it's about as big as the Pentagon. But um, from the point of view of the patients, they can just turn up, park up, come in, you know, have their treatment done, and um, and that's it. So, um, when it's uh, when it's cold in the winter, the heating's all included, so we never have to worry about heating the place. We don't have to worry about fixing the ceiling. We don't have to worry about uh, opening the doors. And uh, we don't have to worry about a ton of other stuff. We don't have the internet is all provided for us. It all comes in through these um, sockets on the wall here. So if we want to plug something into the internet, we just plug it into there. The um, power sockets, we decide for ourselves where we want those. And um, also the phone lines are, you know, we just rent the phone line, 25 pounds a, 25 pound a what's it in a month or something. and. Uh, and also the post. If we need to post anything, uh, we just take it outside. We don't don't put stamps on it. We just take it outside and give it to the um, the staff on the desk, and they stick it in the post, and we get franked rates without having to pay for a franking machine because it's all shared between everybody. So that's it. That's the practice. And uh, if you saw anything that you think uh, needs urgent attention, then by all means leave a comment in the uh, video below. And uh, if you want to hear about what plans we've got to upgrade it, then uh, I'm very, very happy to do that in another video. And also, um, you know, the issues we had with um, the staff, taking over the staff, motivating the staff, explaining the staff uh, to the staff the changes, and, and how we um, explain the changes to the patients as well. So, everyone, everyone, a 20 minute video. <laughs> Okay, nice to talk to you. See you soon. Bye.